it is always a good thing to give thanks to the Lord, who turns our impossibilities into possibilities. Be blessed with this testimony session. My name is Anyango James. Brethren, I've come here to testify for the good things Lord Jesus Christ has done in my life. Brethren, before I came to be prayed for by a man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, Brethren, I had the spirit of fornication for eight years. I had a problem of taking marijuana for four years. And I was homeless for three years. Brethren, this spirit of fornication. I started fornicating when I was still in school. By then I was, I was in senior three. When I met a lady, she was my classmate. I started dating this lady. Brother and time went and love became deep. In that school, I did a lot of bad things with this lady. Now time came, brother, and as you know, when you when you a boy and you have a girlfriend, you have to show that girl that you have something. But, but brother, and by then I had no money. What I had to do, brethren, I started still, stealing my fellow students' properties. I could steal mattress and I sell. I could break into my fellow student boxes. I could steal the money in the boxes. Brethren, I totally became a thief because of this lady. Brethren, the time came, I stole a phone belonging to my friend. And he was a very good friend of mine. Brother, when I was in senior four, it was the third term and we were sitting you see, brethren, I had just sat like four papers. They caught me with this phone. Brethren, I was ashamed in the whole school. I decided to run away in, 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 at night. And I did not finish my papers. Brethren, I didn't even go straight home. I ran up to the village. My parents discovered that I've run away from school. That I've not finished my papers. Brethren, they became so annoyed. They became so disappointed. My, my grandmother started cursing me. My mother and all my relatives, they started cursing me. I remember what my grandmom told me. We have tried everything. We have struggled for you. We have paid for you school fees. But now you have refused to study. You will see in future. Rather than my grandmom told me these words. And by that time, I saw that everyone had started hating. Me. Brethren, even in the village where I ran, even there they, they started hating me because, brethren, I was a bad boy. I had bad behavior. Brother, and there in the, in the village, I refused to work. I ran away from the village and I went to town. Brother, and I got to work with a certain company called Arab Contractors. I started working with them as a porter. Brother, when I started working with this company, they used to pay, they used to pay us every weekend. Whenever I could get money, brother, I could go to the clubs. I could book. When I become so high, I start looking for ladies. Brethren, when I when I am paid in the like if I'm paid in a weekend, 
And I go to the club. When I am drunk. Because I had no girlfriend. I could go and buy women in the bar. I could move in the streets and look where prostitutes are. Brethren, this is where my life started becoming worst. I started fornicating seriously. Even my level of boozing increased. Brethren, all this I was still in Lira. Now time came, that company told me that they will bring me to work in Kampala. Brother, when I came to Kampala, they increased my money. And they were paying me every week. When I reached here in Kampala, I started working very well. I got good friends at the beginning. But as time went on, I, I met bad friends. Brother and this friend, they could booze. They could smoke marijuana. They could use all kinds of drugs. All kinds of drugs that confuses the mind. Brother and I started staying with them. And by then I was still boozing. But time came I started smoking cigarettes. From cigarettes. I went to marijuana. Brother, I remember every weekend that I could get money. I cannot sleep. I could not sleep home. If I get money on weekend, like on Saturday, the all night I will not be at home. I will come back home on Sunday evening. When I have wasted all the money, I have wasted on prostitutes, I have wasted on drugs. Brethren, my life became worst. When my landlord realized that I'm taking marijuana, she gave me a warning. I told, I told her that I will stop it. But brethren, I had tight friendship with those Guys who takes marijuana. Brother, I went on I kept on taking marijuana. Now time came, I was stopped, I was stopped from job. Because one morning I woke up and I took marijuana. I lose my understanding. Me myself, I was not understanding what my boss is telling me. I, I'm not even following. Now he became a he stopped me from work. I went back home. Then I said to myself, now where will I start from? Time came, I was jobless. Uh, I had no money to pay for the house. But the landlord is demanding me. When she chased me from the house, I tried to go and talk to my friends so that I can accommodate myself with them. Brethren, they refused. Some of them kept me like for a week or two weeks. But after discovering, after discovering that I have a bad character, they say, our friend, we can no longer stay with you. Brethren, there when I was staying with my friends, I was jobless. So I decided to steal uh, money of my friend. I started sleeping in the street because I had nowhere to stay. All my friends have rejected me. Remember my parents have rejected me. They, they cast me because I've refused to study. All this came to my life because of fornication. Brethren, when I entered into the street, I suffered in the street. I was still new in the street. I had nowhere to, to go. I don't have money. My friend's money that I stole from where I was staying. I came to the street and it was stolen from me one night. 
Brethren in the street, they could, they could scare me. I met bad friends. Because I was sleeping in the veranda. Brethren, this is what I'm saying. In the street, there is no future. When someone is sleeping in the street, that, just know that that person is suffering. Brethren, there is torture in the street. There are bad guys in the street. Those who smoke marijuana. Those who use all kinds of drugs like Mayrunji. Brethren, they tortured me. One day they found me sleeping in the veranda. That guy came to me and he asked me with the money. I told him that I don't have money. He removed the knife. He wanted to stab me, but he just scared me. He told me to stand up. He checked all my body. He found, he found only 200 and he went with it. Brethren, I became so scared from then. Brother, one day I sat down and I said, why all this happening to me? I remember the word of my grandmom. What she told me when I ran away from school. She said, you are not going to be a man. What she told me when I ran away from school. She said, you are not going to be a man. That I will see in the future. Brother, all, my, all that my grandmom told me. Brother, I have seen it. Brother, there was a day. Brother, there was a day. I was passing in the old park. And, by that, and that day I was even drunk. Brethren, I found a group of people watching this television for Prophet Samuel Kakande. I saw, I saw a certain man giving testimony. This guy was giving testimony about these drugs. That he came to Prophet Samuel Kakande and he prayed for him. Brother, and even me myself, I said one day I will go to that man and he will pray for me. Brother, there is But brother, and I took time without coming. But life was worsening on my side. Life was becoming more worse on my side. Time came, I grew up so thin. I became so thin. Brethren, another thing that I did, whenever I am drunk, and I have some little money, brethren, I would move in the streets of Kampala, and I look for women, and I buy them. Now, brethren, I could buy these prostitutes. I don't mind over, is he old or young? But brethren, time came when I don't have money and I'm, and I'm so high. Brethren, I would feel like sleeping with those prostitutes. But you know with them, when you don't have money, they cannot allow you. Brethren, I could get one and deceive her that I have money. When she accepts to go with me, I could sleep with her by force. At first, I could first strangle her. After strangling her, she will not say any word. Brethren, I've raped prostitutes. Brethren, I've slept with them forcefully. There was a lady I got one day. I got her, it was, a, it was a, at around in the night. She was drunk. Even me, I was drunk. Brother, I deceived this lady that I have some money. So I convinced her and she accepted to go with me. Brother, I went with this lady in a hidden place. I slept with her by force. At the end of it all, I did not give her any money. The lady told me that at least give me only 2,000. Brother, I refused to give this lady money. But the lady told me that, man, you go. You will have problems. Brother, just that night, it was in the morning, I was 
beaten brethren. Bankuba aboluganda. Brethren, I was beaten by a certain policeman. Wali wamu police yankuba. I was sleeping somewhere where they don't allow people to sleep there. He came and found me, brethren, he beat me. On running. I, 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 I came to realize that he has already taken my shoes. Because I was even drunk, I was not even knowing myself. Brethren, I went and sat down and all over my body was, was paining. But something came in my mind. But one day you said that you will go to Prophet Samaka Kande. What are you waiting for? See now you're passing all through the all this suffering and all the pain. But you are passing all through all this suffering. But it's not it is not what you are supposed to pass through. Brethren, it was Tuesday. I said it to myself and I opened my mouth that on Thursday I will go to Prophet Samuel Kakande. They welcomed me and they registered me. They put me on the prayer line. And I was prayed for by man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Brother, brother. Brother, brother. Brother, brother. Brother, brother. Brother, brother. And he's homeless. Father, help him. In Jesus' holy name. Rise Before a time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spoke, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer, as mentioned in 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 9. Listen to how the seer, Prophet Samuel Kakande, revealed the root cause of Mr. Onyango's bondage. There is a place what are you for? where you people used to stay, and uh, you could fetch water. And you would go past the fence. I mean a wall fence. Because there was a wall fence. A house was built and fenced, but in front of it was a well and a path that you used to go through oh, no, to the well. You were 16, 17 well, years. Where were you staying? 16, 17. Where were you staying? Where you were staying? In Angwetangwet, Lira. Eh? It was in Angwetangwet, in Lira. In Lira? Yeah. Now, do you remember Katijukila. that place? Echfecho. Yes. Man of God, I remember what you said is true. My name is Ojango James. James. That place, eh? it, it, it is in Ayangwetangwet. By then, my, my grandmother, we have just transferred there. Mm -hmm. So we had no water around. Mm -hmm. So we have to we, we, we had to slope down. There was a certain school called Nelko. Mm -hmm. We used to go and fetch water from there. Man of God, what you have said is true. Echifecho chari mulida. Mchisele chonari mbele ne jaja wange. Ntuali tu wakasengu. Kanenga tetuina wetu jama zi. Katinga tuino kukirida. Era waliwa na wakasomero. Tua itangu. Kendo kuchima amazi. So it is from that time. Kachire nchokuwa mchisele cho. That place. Mchifecho. Where things went wrong for you. Ewe ntuwebi yako ono nekera. You started getting confused. Whatever you do, they accuse you. It is a mistake. Man of God, what you have said is true. When, when we transferred in that place, my life became worse. transferred in that place, my life became worse. My life became worse. Everyone started hating, hating me from home. They accuse me. My grandmother could. I don't know how to explain. Even my auntie, everyone could, could accuse me just of any small mistake. But I'm sure what you have nanda. said is very true. So, this is the issue now. That 
that you cannot settle anywhere. You not knowing that there was a, 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 a grave where you are passing, going down, over there there was a tree and under the tree there was a big grave. Big grave. Little did Mr. Onyango know the root cause of his suffering on the streets. When he met the seer, Prophet Samuel Kakande, the whole truth was revealed in this prophetic message. To pass there, eh? We would see those graves, but we could not even care about it. We just, we don't mind about it. They, they, were, they were under the trees, and we used to pass near those graves to go and fetch water. So what the man of God has said is very true. So this is the issue. It was since that time you started dreaming mad people chasing you. You say, what is this dream? Man of God, what you have said is very true. I could dream at night when I'm seeing mad people, eh? mm. and at times when they start chasing me, I could fly mm -hmm. mm? to not, not because I don't want them to catch me. Mm. So, I, like I've, I've, ever, I've ever been dreaming those dreams more than even ten times, mad people. So, so, so this is the issue now because they are chasing you every night. You cannot sit anywhere. Even two times you wanted to enter forces. It failed. You said, oh God, if I have failed, maybe I was going to die there. Now, here you are to Jesus. Mr. Jesus loves you. Settle. Now stop this drug issue. Where is Stella? Stella, I it down. Man of God, what you have said is very true. Stella, I know her. Stella, I studied with her. She's called Vicky uh, Stella. Bamita Vicky Stella. She's in Lira. Abeda Lira. So by then when I was still in senior three, when I started dating this lady, that is how my studies got spoiled. So what the man of God has said is very true. I know Stella very well. So um, now that the Lord has repaired your life, make sure you do what is right. Of office give me Three hundred thousand. Office matching. Go. Go and match with them. Buy good clothes. Sunday come for prayer. These drugs, you, you just take them because you are frustrated. But not because you love it. Man of God, this this what you have said is very true. It's a hundred percent true. These drugs. Mm. It has, never, it, has, it has never been something that I, I, I desire in my life. When I get little money, hmm, I said, now, what will I do at this time? I'm just stranded. I'm just confused. Let me just go and booze. I forget the day. Now, after boozing, I get drunk. After getting drunk, now I feel like getting too much drunk. I go and buy marijuana. Then I, I, I take it so that I can go and sleep very well. Because if I don't take it, I will, I will experience bad dreams. Like these dreams you have talked about, people chasing me, mad people. Yes. There was a, a night I dreamed they were chasing me. They chased me in the whole street. When I reached in a certain corridor, and in that corridor, the whole, the whole wall eh, was flowing with this sewage. Mm -mm. Now, when I woke up from the dream, I took like some two minutes. Mm. Then I, I slept again. Now after sleeping, I saw you in the dream. Mm -hmm. You stood like this. 
and I was watching at you at the other side, but you just passed, you didn't even tell me anything. You passed, you passed until you faded. Because you had said you would come to Kakande, but you didn't come. Kubanga wali sezo no ba majagende wa Kakande na ino tajja. Why you did not come? Rach tewajja. Man of God, I ask Jesus to forgive me. I delayed. Sajja kana sana yesu asenye. In town there are um, institutions like a schools. Mama mugwanga musobola kuba mu ebintu nga amasomero, amaraliro. Yes. But there is also a state council which is responsible of taking away the garbage. So if you see you have garbage, come to Kakande. He will take away all your garbage. Father set him free. And Jesus solemnly. You are now free. Sunday come when you are smart. Hey, people want to see you. Man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande prayed for me. I went back. When I could no longer take marijuana, I could, not, I could no longer booze. Even where those prostitutes are. Brother, I, I fear even passing those ends. Because I'm, I'm saved now. Brethren, clap for Jesus the Savior. Brother, and when man of God, Prophet Samuel Kande was praying for me, he gave me 300. He told me to go and buy good clothes and to get where to sleep. Brother, and I went and bought good clothes. Office gave me $300. Office will pay me $200. They will no longer laugh at you. But again, on marching, go. Go and march with them. Huh? Yeah, these, these, these drugs, you, you just take them because you are frustrated. Brother and man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande declared word of freedom in my life. I am free in Jesus' name. Brother, I want to thank man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. I want to thank Jesus Christ for, for saving me, for delivering me, and for setting me free. Brethren, this is the advice I will give to, to the young ones. Firstly, those ones who are still at school. If your parents are paying for your school fees, just know that they are getting this money in a hard way. They are struggling for this money for your future. So you have to study hard. Don't disappoint them. Put their money in use. You will get a good future. Brother, and the advice I'm giving to those ones who are in the street still taking marijuana. Brethren, if you're there and you're, and you're watching at me, I know some of you are there tired of taking these drugs. But take a step. Come and witness the power Jesus Christ promised to man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Brethren, man, man of God is here waiting for you. To collect your rubbish, to pray for you, and set you free in Jesus' name. Brethren, not every drug addict on the street likes it. Some are just victims of circumstance, others were just caught in the trap of the enemy who came to steal to kill and to destroy, as mentioned in John chapter 10 verse 10. But thanks be to Christ Jesus, who came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. The church will help you and will give you four million. 
you buy a boda boda. Ogule boda boda. So this will now help you you'll be working. Katende boda boda jaku yambo jaku wokola. You'll be sponsoring yourself. Ngawera bidida. Yes. Yes. So come for the boda boda. Jango for the boda boda yo. Thank you. Where are you? So man of God, Professor Mokakande has handed our brother Onyango James a brand new motorcycle. Let's clap for Jesus Christ, the problem solver. There he sounds, the motorbike. It's a brand new motorbike. As a gift of love from the Kakande Ministries. As a new source of livelihood for him. Mr. Onyango James is a young man who had lost all hope in life. But to God be the glory, his encounter with the seer, Prophet Samuel Kakande, transformed his life because the burden bearer Christ Jesus made him a new creature to God's glory. Are you in a similar situation? Do not lose hope. The burden bearer is in town. His name is Jesus Christ. Come and lay your burden at the feet of Jesus and your life will be transformed forever.